When I was growing up, I used to read a lot, and by the time I was a young teenager, it occurred to me that the world of the future might be a scary place with too many people and not enough resources to go around. I knew that I had to be part of the solution, but what could I do? I was just a middle-class kid going to high school in Toronto and pumping gas to save money for college. Then one day, something jolted me out of my complacency. Out of the blue, my dad came home and announced that he had cancer and that it looked pretty bad. And then he said something that has stayed with me to this day. He said he wasn't so much afraid that he might die, but that he hadn't done the things that he wanted to with his life. Fortunately, my father is still alive today, but his words, but his words were a wake-up call, and they set me on a mission. I was going to make a difference. And I decided I was going to tell stories that would inspire people to get involved in the issues that face us all. And I thought the fastest path to telling these stories would be to become an entrepreneur first. So I started some companies, and some of them did okay, and some of them failed, but I kept trying. And then eventually I went to business school, and when I came out, I was part of the creation of a small online company called eBay. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> With, with the resources from eBay, I started a foundation to support social entrepreneurs, people like Muhammad Yunus, who has lifted over 100 million people from poverty through micro-lending, or Anne Cotton, who teaches over 500,000 girls in Africa, and of course, Craig and Mark Kilberger, who have already touched millions of lives. Finally, after all this, I got back to my dream of telling stories that would make a difference in the world. And five years ago, Participant Media was born. So far, we've released over 20 films, each addressing an important issue in the world. Our films, The Kite Runner and Darfur Now, brought help to the people of Afghanistan and Darfur. Charlie Wilson's war in North Country led to new rights for veterans and for women and an inconvenient truth brought the issue of global warming to over one billion people. And just this summer, we, we had a movie out called The Cove, which has led Japan to stop hunting dolphins for the first time in its history. So what's the difference between the people in our films and each of you here today? Nothing. Your story is only just now unfolding. So what will your story be? Will you help eliminate poverty? Will, will you cure malaria or AIDS? Will you bring clean drinking water to everyone in the world? Only you can write your own story, and there are many tools to help, your teachers, schools, libraries, and on the web. But here is another way that you can take part in social change. I know that here today we have the next Muhammad Yunus, the next Ann Cotton, and the next Craig and Mark Kielberger.
You can change the world. You are changing the world. You will change the world. Thank you.